Okay. Oh my god, what's... What? Oh my god, dude. I'm having goosebumps right now. What the heck? Oh no. Oh shit. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No. I gotta go fast, gotta go fast, gotta fast. I, I can't talk, I can't talk. No, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Oh no. Okay, yeah, let's go with this team. Because I have healing right here. And I think Aika is gonna go well against Senora. Okay, talk to Senora. This is so cool. But this is so cramped. Oh my god, I I'm I don't I don't like this place. If this is gonna be a weekly boss in this place, I I don't know about this. The way people charge in here as they please, so uncivilized. Man, you charge in here as well. If I didn't know this was Tenshukaku, I might have mistaken it for some kind of street market. Jeez. Oh my god, is that Sarah? Have you learned your lesson now? Is that Sarah? Oh no. <laughs> Oh no, dude! The right to punish Inazumans for their crimes is mine alone. Not yours, Signora. Then I apologize, Almighty Shogun. Signora! I know, I know. You can't get me out of your mind. But you really don't need to call my name all the time. I'm gonna beat your ass. Don't go thinking I'm surprised to see you here. I'm well aware that you hate me. With the way you follow me around like a dark shadow. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting deja vu. You're trying to seize control of Inazuma, ah, yeah. So you came to expose my crimes in front of the Shogun? <laughs> I'm just a Snezhnayan diplomat. I'm afraid I have no idea what you're talking about. She doesn't take us seriously at all! For all who have lost their visions, for all who have been harmed by delusions. Stop talking about people and things that I care nothing about. Mm. They were nobodies to begin with, and their names will be forgotten. But now, at least, they get to be building blocks in the grand revolution to realize eternity. Okay, sure. Is that not the greatest honor they could hope for? In their tiny little lives? I don't think Sarah is dead, Almighty by the way. Shogun, do correct me if I'm wrong. Hmm. For Venti's Gnosis and for the people of Liwa, you imperiled. That's ancient history. You certainly love to hold a grudge. <laughs> Lumine is so angry. The Tsaritsa's dream is the noblest and purest thing in all the world. These other mundane details you insist on mentioning? They're just necessary sacrifices. That's all. I mean, I think the Tsaritsa's, um goal it's really it's really good i i mean I, at least i think we have the same goal but her means of doing it is quite a bit quite a bit bad in my in my book you know especially doing this and also seizing visions and yeah that's that's kind of a that's not good okay it's time for me to put a stop to this you yes stop me <laughs> it's just like child all over again for what it's worth I've grown tired of seeing you around as well. But I didn't have you down as someone quite so foolhardy. Before you go saying something you can't take back, remember that you're Inazuma's most wanted criminal. That's very interesting. Talking to Tensukaku uninvited and lecturing me in front of the Shogun wasn't the brightest move. Don't you think it's time you stopped digging? I'm nah. not sure you realize quite how much distance there is between us, both in status and in strength. We'll see about I that. <gasps> what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm so shocked. I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, I love you, Lumine. To a duel before the throne. Oh, she's actually speaking. Proceed. Okay. My, you're full of surprises today. So you've learned to make the law of the land work for you too. Hmm. Mm. I admit that I never expected to be in a situation where the two of us were on equal footing. Okay. You are aware that the loser must die. Oh. Are you sure this is what you want? 
Are we gonna kill Senora? Traveler! <laughs> then I will deign to share this last dance with you. Till death do us part! Oh my god, she's so big. <laughs> and by big, I mean tall. Not what you think. Okay. Oh my god. power and elegance? As you wish. Oh, they're sheer cold? What? Are you kidding? Solidify. Drop. Uh, uh, you've got some nerve laying your hands on me. Harbinger power has become burdensome. I will manifest my destiny anew. Await my emergence and tremble, traveler. You have reason to be afraid. <laughs> Oh, I see. This music, though. Okay, so this is the way to do it. Need one more. Need one more. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I assume this is the second phase. Let's go, dude. This is such a cool boss fight. Let's go. Oh my god, this is so cool. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> it's so cool. Tail flame, lay waste to frozen shell and witness my suffering. <laughs> In fires of sin and retribution, your soul will be incinerated. Oh, I, I have, I'm accumulating fire. A cherished agony. Do you feel it? Okay, let's go, dude. Let's finish this. Let's finish this. Oh my god, I missed. Okay, this is good. This is good. Oh my god, Senora. Calm down. This is such a cool um mechanic though. Right, you can you can you can go now. Right, you can go now, Senora. I do hope we didn't we didn't kill her. Oh, so strong. oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Lamine with the dull blade. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. I'm scared now. I'm scared now. Come on. Ah, wait. Oh, she's gonna. I am diplomat. You know what happens if you lay a finger on me. Swear. If you strike me, I will make sure. No, 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 are the enemy of eternity. But as the victor, I acknowledge your honor. Therefore, <laughs> I shall allow you to leave Tenshukaku alive. Oh my god. Did she kill Senora? What the? Oh my god, dude. I thought we were the Wait, she's walking. What is this? What is this? Oh, the air feels suffocating. Bro, bro I'm scared. I can't control myself. No. Oh. Senora is slain. Holy heck. One strike from the Shogun and now Senora is gone. This is cool though. Oh my god, please don't strike me down. Yeah, right? Why are they doing it? Why are the harbingers collecting all the notes? This is so cool though. Huh? Traveler. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm s- Let's get out of this place. Paimon feels 
Is this Paimon's doing? Or is it? Wait, I am confused. I, I am confusion. When the shield been executed Senora with the Muso no Hitotachi, it was unbelievable. I am smashing buttons right now. It seems impossible to defend against. And if so, we've got no hope whatsoever of defeating her in combat. This is so cool. This is just like Honkai. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 we still have that Omamori, right? Oh my god, dude. Oh, but we'll be like lambs to the slaughter, won't we? Oh, maybe we could put this plan on hold for a while. Nah, nah, we should go there, ASAP. There's the sound of electro zapping in the air. Why don't you do it? Can you hear my mashing right now? <laughs> Yeah, that's so cool, by the way. Oh my god. Sounds like there's a lot of noise coming from outside Tenshikaku. Has a fight broken out or something? <laughs> I am I am I am holding W right now. I'm really nervous. Well, let's go see what the situation is, shall we? The guards are dead, Paimon. Or at least they're injured, I think. Oh, cutscene. <gasps> oh, it's Kazuha. Let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. Please don't. Oh, what the f? Kazuha, please don't die. Please. Please, I beg. Oh. oh. What the fuck? There will always be those who dare to break the lightning's glow. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go, dude! Oh my god! He's Electro! He's Electro! What the fuck? Let's go! Oh! Oh no, my PC is lagging, but... <laughs> oh, wait! Oh no, my PC is dying! <laughs> Sorry! Wait! Oh! Huh? Oh, I see! Their visions are rekindling, I think. Oh! What the f- Oh my god, she just did that. She just legitimately did that. Oh my god, dude, <laughs> please, we meet again. please let me breathe, oh my god, let's go, oh my god, that's so good, oh, oh man, <laughs> let's go. Indulge my curiosity, what is the reason that I find you standing here before me once again? Uh, I need a drink, I need to drink, Ugh. man, oh, it's A, I mean, I know, I, I already know, but that's a cute detail. Do you hope your foolhardiness will shelter those people? Or was it simply a means of seeking an audience with me? I mean, this plane, in this plane, I think time doesn't, I mean, time doesn't really work here, huh? If I'm, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, sure. Oh? <laughs> Surely you didn't rouse me from my state of eternal meditation only to tell me this. <laughs> if so, then you underestimate me. I am quite well informed about the vision hunt decree. Oh, you know everything that's going on outside? Not so. Only everything that pertains to eternity. Okay. The Vision Hut decree has my tacit approval. The Fatui's actions thus far do not constitute a threat to eternity. Otherwise, they would have been purged long ago. The Vision Hunt decree is damaging. It comes at a great cost to the people of Inazuma, yeah. Individual ambition is inherently incompatible with eternity. What you might not realize is that all too often, people have far more to lose by chasing their dreams. Okay, I, I kind of see it. No one will lose their life on account of having their vision taken away. What do you mean by that? Rather, those who have lost their lives 
are the ones who insisted on pursuing their own aspirations, are they not? Oh, I, I think she's talking about the cataclysm, right? When, when Kanya was struck by the gods because their ambitions are too strong. So they had to do it. Otherwise, it's gonna... I don't know, man. I don't know. The Archons are suspicious, I think. Traveler, your existence is unique in my eyes. There seems to be limitless uncertainty in you. To put it another way, you are the furthest thing from eternity. So I won't insist that you comprehend the meaning of my actions. What matters is that I tread the path of eternity on my people's behalf. It's created by your consciousness, yes? That's right. Huh. I'm surprised you understand it so well. Anyway... You're looking for a chance to shake my will, aren't you? I'm not here to debate your ideas. I'm here to demolish them. Let's go, Lumin! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> She's so badass. So be it. Well then, you who would defy eternity. Time for you to enlighten me. We're gonna fight again? Oh my... Where is she? Do you wish to become the enemy of eternity, Traveler? Teamwork is dreamwork! Take flight! Lightning falls on the land of eternity! Take flight! Okay. You're looking good so far, looking good so far. Instabilities will be removed. Oh no. Ah, okay, I see. Rock. Rock. Oh no, I have no stamina. Oh. Ooh, let's go! Oh! Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the Omamori from Yai Miko. Hey, Yai Sa. Miko, this was your doing? Yes. Oh my god, let's go! Don't forget who taught you how to place your consciousness in objects. Mm. Surely you don't think your ambition alone is enough to shake A's will, do you? Yeah, we definitely Though need you some help. Are here, they too have ambitions, which they long since entrusted to you. So cool. That cut was so cool. Now then, close your eyes. <laughs> what the f yeah. Oh my god. What the f yeah. is that? That's so creepy. That's so creepy. Oh my god, if you're wearing headphones right now, this is so creepy. Oh! Oh! oh. Let's go! Oh my god! What the heck? The power of 100 visions? Oh my god, we can use visions now! That's so cool! That's so cool, bro! Yes, Traveler, beat her up! Let's go! Oh, the music! Oh my god! Oh my god, dude! What the f- 100k! What the heck? We're so strong right now! Oh my god! Ah! Uh, Oh my god, I walk into that. Ooh, ooh! Calm down, calm down, girl! 90k, are you serious? Yeah, let's finish this with Traveler here. I think it's just fair to finish this with Traveler. Oh, never mind, I guess. <laughs> You've lost, eh? Yeah. No. Yes, I have. Why can you not trust your people and in the power of their ambitions? These ambitions have transcended space and time. They are something that no one can snuff out. When people move forward with all their might. That's very interesting wording right there. They can surpass the gods' expectations. 
and even take over the work. So that explains why Teyvat doesn't need gods to begin with, right? Jesus Christ. Is this the lesson you learned from your journey in Liyue? Yes. There are nations where humans cast their god aside and stride forward? Yes. So are we to just abandon the notion of progress for the sake of wishful thinking? You and I have both witnessed the great loss that progress can bring. No, this, there's pain in her voice. Eternity. Eternity is the only way. Man, you can tell she's been through so much. Oh. When lightning flashes, it casts a shadow. Oh. And please don't make me cry again. My please. Means shadow. Yes. With my blade, I purged all obstacles to progress. Oh, it's a Robashi. Oh, that's so cool. And yet, something was lost with each step forward. That's the Tengu warrior. In the end, I even lost her. Who? Oh. The tales are still retold in the shade of every thunder sakura. But the wounds left on our nation by that terrible loss still ache. Is it is she talking about uh stop searching? Kitsuna Saigu? For a brief flash of light. If nothing else, we have the present moment. She's so pretty. She said that once. But I've seen a nation strike forward. Oh my god. Everything to the heavenly principles. Oh my god. Perhaps only if time stands still, will the lightning's glow never fade. What the f- <laughs> The present moment is a fragile illusion. Only eternity can bring us closer to the heavenly principles. Oh my god, dude. I am no longer the shadow. Mine is the most supreme and noble form. Let power over the realm be vested within me. In this form shall I honor my subject's dream for a land of eternity, unchanging forevermore. So, this, so she doesn't want the same thing to happen to her people. Principles. Irrelevant nonsense as far as I'm concerned. That's not irrelevant at all. Because she basically becomes the villain so that her people don't meet the same fate as Kanria. Oh my god, dude. When all said and done, all you really want is to protect your beloved Inazuma forever and ever. Isn't that right? I mean, yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that would be something of an oversimplification. But is this nation worth existing for eternity? Mm, there's a theory out there that Teyvat is going through a cycle. Like, Celestia is resetting Teyvat and appointing new archons something like that and maybe that's why um immortals or some people who are not mortals think less of mortals because they're just basically expendable you know stripped yeah. of ambitions stripped of the potential for change it does nothing more than simply exist it is a hollow shell of a nation this looks much more prettier now I wonder what loss would it really be to anyone if such a nation were destroyed? Miko, retract your words. Oh my god. Never changing eternity is the promise I made to my people. But what your people need from you is not your promises. They want your attention. Your divine gaze. Yes, because you are their Archon. <laughs> you mean visions? No? Humans have a lifespan of barely a hundred years. They cannot afford to bear any extra losses. But I have experienced it all. That is why I have chosen to guide them along the correct path toward eternity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just, that just proves my point. <sighs> but eternity is far too cruel a fate for you, eh? Yeah. <sighs> for me? Not only have you stopped paying attention to the world, but you have stopped paying attention to yourself. Yes, it's basically her coping mechanism. It's, it's really obvious. It must have been terribly lonely here, all alone, for centuries on end. But it is necessary. You will miss no. much by refusing progress. You seek to prevent loss. 
But have you considered all you are losing by remaining here in stasis for all eternity? You are obviously lonely. And yet, for the sake of eternity, you choose to stretch your loneliness out to infinity. Tell me this. Why is the sky here that was once so dark glowing again? Why now? Yeah, that's it's a question. Your plane of Euthymia. It's your inner world. So it can only mean that you are happy to see <laughs> <it again. laughs> You have found the loneliness here unbearable for a long time now, haven't you? Yes. I... Uh, have nothing to say to that. <laughs> <laughs> but I have so much to say to you. Let me tell you all that has happened over the last few centuries. Oh boy, here we go. How long will that take? As a fox envoy, I have an excellent memory. She's a fox envoy. Let's go. Centuries with perfect clarity. So it will probably take me another few centuries to relay <laughs> it to you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is so. <laughs> oh, Nico. I never thought I would have the chance to meet with you like this again. I'm so happy for her. Although she although she killed many people, that's not justified, but yeah, I'm so happy for her. Seeing you again is a change to eternity. And a very nice surprise. <laughs> Since you are willing to admit that, I suppose that means we can still be friends? Of course. What a childish conversation this is. <laughs> anyway, now that I have been defeated by you and your plan, I will honor your wish to abolish the Vision Hunt decree. Let's go. But with regards to eternity and the question of whether this nation should move forward, I need time to give it some thought. Yes. Take your time. <laughs> You are the one who's been acting like a child from the very beginning. True. <laughs> this is so cool. As oh, promised, cutscene. Let's go. The Raiden Shogun abolished the Vision Hunt decree. I'm sorry if, if it's a bit Finally, too loud for you guys. Her people's wishes penetrated her locked heart. Beyond the plane of Euthymia, she saw what eternity means in the eyes of the world. Oh, this is so. This is so sweet. When one's fervent ambition burns brightly, the gods will cast their gaze upon you. I'm sorry for slagging though. <laughs> Some ambitions oh. have the power to heal wounds, to bring victory, to inspire hope. Aww. Aww. Let's go. But some ambitions oh, it's... outlive their masters long after the soul ascends. I'm so happy. They remain as they were in the beginning. Kazuha, my boy. And true. Oh, so he finally. Oh. Oh my god, this is... Oh. <laughs> Bro, is that the end? Please don't tell me. So what did you guys do in the Raiden Shogun's plane of Euthymia anyway? Ah, so Paimon wasn't there, I see. Is the Vision Hunt decree abolished? Yes, we convey the wishes of the people. It makes, it kind of makes sense why Paimon wasn't there because they were talking about Conria. Yeah, this I think that's the first time we were separated from Paimon. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. So maybe the reason Yai Miko is looking for us now is because she wants to thank us. Let's go find her. Okay. Man, I'm willing to sit here for another three hours. Hello, Miss Yai. Why hello? If it isn't the triumphant traveler. And why might you be visiting the shrine? A sign of piety, perhaps. Aww. You literally told us. <laughs> I was just joking. I've been waiting for you. Seems like someone's in a pretty good mood. I, re I really like Yai Miko. Catching up with an old friend I hadn't seen in years was truly delightful. By the way, 
I heard that you had a duel before the throne, with a Fatui Harbinger no less. Courageous and astute. I must say, I am most impressed. Are we not gonna acknowledge the fact that <laughs> Raiden killed Signora? Defeating Signora head-on in a duel means that your strength exceeds my expectations. Still, you did end up victorious. I gather congratulations are in order. <sighs> yes. Sure feels good to finally thwart the Fatui plan for once. Yes. They caused plenty of trouble along the way, but at the very least, they didn't get their hands on another gnosis. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a second. Did you say gnosis? As in, the little thing that looks something like a chess piece? Yes. Yep, that's the one. You've seen one too? Gnosis belong to the Seven. They're what keep them connected to Celestia. Oh. Oh. Oh, why, why did she say it like that? W what's wrong? I handed that over. Are you f***ing serious? You did what now? Well, how else was I supposed to save your skin from the balladeer exactly? Wait a minute, is it your gnosis? The balladeer is number six of the Fatui Harbingers. In terms of strength, he is superior to Signora. I'm not the kind of person who risks life and limb for any old reason. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what the f***? Yeah, but why Why was the gnosis in her hands? After A created her puppet vessel, she no longer had anywhere to put it. Ah, so she wasn't the Electro Archon. So that theory is... Hmm, the theory is quite wrong. As her erstwhile closest friend, A handed it over to me. And I've kept it in the Grand Narukami Shrine ever since. Are you serious? There's a gnosis in this... <laughs> okay. <laughs> She no longer needs the power of the Gnosis, and in any case, she tells me she has severed ties with Celestia. Oh, so that's what Xiongli was saying. Thus the Gnosis became not only useless, but also a potential source of conflict. Because that makes sense, because because of her pursuit of eternity, she doesn't want her people to suffer the same fate as Conria. That's very interesting. Is that not a good bargain? Exchanging it for the one at the core of the plan? Judging by the results at least, I dare say I struck a good deal. <laughs> <sighs> when you put it like that, Paimon has to agree. The Traveler is worth more than a Gnosis. Yep. No wonder we haven't seen the Bellader since. <sighs> well, what's done is done. And I hardly think we'll be getting it back now. Let's leave the past in the past. <laughs> okay, sure. But um, that's that's a cause for concern because the Cersei is getting closer and closer to her goal. Um, so anyway, you still haven't told us why you called us here today. Man. <laughs> it's to thank you. I'm sorry for rambling. <laughs> really? You intend to travel all over to Vat. And the time has come for the Inazuma leg of your trip to come to an end, has it not? Yeah. As a mark of my gratitude, I will answer any questions you may have about the road ahead okay, okay, and okay. the events of the past. Thank you. Thank you so much. I want to know all... Like to know about? I want to know about Kanria. Let's just ask in order. That puppet was built with technology that has been lost to time. Perhaps she, as a god, is the only one privy to the knowledge of its origins. Wait, so it's not an Exuvia then? Maybe it's the same one as Magu Kenki. Very interesting. Still, or maybe it's from Kanria. Thing on this topic that I suspect you may be curious to know. Before A began modifying her own godly form, she oh. took it upon herself to create a prototype puppet. <gasps> so, you mean there are three riding shokens? No. The prototype was merely a proof of concept. Its appearance and intellect were not based on A. It was a test. It's Mago the Kenki. The plan was for A to simply discard it. But perhaps A thought this to be too cruel, because in the end, she chose only to seal the power within it. Okay. Later, this puppet wandered Inazuma as an ordinary human male with his own consciousness. Until... Oh, and man. Until he took an interest in him. Man, the Fatui are just, uh, they're just so irritating sometimes. Uh, not the Fatui! <laughs> yeah. Some eccentric geniuses in the ranks of the Fatui made adjustments to the prototype. 
not only unsealing his power, but very likely rendering him even more formidable than his original specifications. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The object of divine creation is now the one who has taken possession of the Gnosis. And the prototype puppet is now known as... What? Valadir. What the f... No. No. It's not Magu Kenki. I'm so sorry. What the f... <laughs> Wait. I need to process this. So it's not... So... So Scaramouche is like Albedo then, or maybe close because Albedo is a Albedo is a homunculus. So Scaramouche was a prototype of Ball. That explains why. Oh my God! That explains why their hair is so similar. What, the, what a crazy story! I'm so shocked. It is, isn't it? Who can say whether it's coincidence or destiny? I'm still shocked about that. I'm surprised an outlander like you is aware that there was once a change of Electro Archon. Few citizens of Inazuma are aware of this. Wait, are, is she really the past Electro Archon? Morax told us. He said that the Electro Archon Ball has passed away. What the f- yeah. <laughs> Wait, so this is not- so A is not Ball? Yes. The truth of the matter is that there were two twin gods, Ball and Beelzebul. Beelzebul. Twin gods? What? They won the Archon War together, and when Baal established the Shogunate, Beelzebul became her Kagemusha, or Shadow Warrior. In other words, she acted as Baal's body double. Okay. Beelzebul is A, with whom we are now both acquainted. Baal's name was Makoto. Oh! As far as the world was aware, there were not two, but one. They complemented each other. And they ruled Inazuma jointly, so there was no need for the public to know the truth. Okay. In fact, the name Ball and the title of Raiden Shogun was understood to refer to both of them. Right up until... Until what? Until what? Makoto died several hundred years ago in a war that I was not personally involved in. Since then, A has assumed the Shogunate. Okay. Losing her sister must have been super hard on A. Oh my god, dude. Kanria. It all goes back to Kanria. That was when A began to change. Makoto was her greatest loss. Oh, so that's what she was chasing. Oh my god. Holy yeah. fucking shit. Paimon feels like she understands A a lot better now after finding that out. So what kind of god was Makoto? I didn't spend a great deal of time with her, but my impression was she was a gentle god who in each moment cherished the beauty of what was before her. I did not expect her to have a twin. Wow. Sorry, about my brother. I haven't a clue. Oh my god, dude. I'm also unfamiliar with the god you describe. Wait, doesn't she know heavenly principles though? But if you still have doubts about A, I would say they are misplaced. Not only does she not fit your description, but she voluntarily gave up her gnosis long ago, severing her ties with Celestia in the process. Oh, I see. Having met her, I don't believe she was the one. That's good to hear. Otherwise, given that I'm her familiar, it could have made our relationship rather awkward, don't you think? <laughs> yes, that's true. Don't worry. We aren't looking to pick a fight with you. <laughs> I wish you the best of luck. May you soon discover the truth behind it all. And I will also borrow some of Ayato's people from the Shiumatsuban. <laughs> I'll let you know if I find out anything. Consider it part of my means of thanking you. About the next stop of my journey. After leaving Inazuma, hmm, I think it would be easiest for you to go to Sumeru. Yes. Ooh, Sumeru! We've run into loads of scholars from there on our journey so far. Yeah. Yes, well... Sumeru is the land of the god of wisdom, where the quest for wisdom and knowledge is never ending. I feel like in Sumeru we're gonna learn so much about Kanria. But their obsession gives rise to some truly inexplicable things. I, for example... Because I am so obsessed with Kanria, I'm so sorry. In Sumeru, knowledge is holistically managed as a resource. Oh! Knowledge is a resource? Basically, just like Mora. Yes. I don't know whether it was the sages or Lesser Lord Kusanali who came up with the idea. Lesser Lord Kusanali, okay. Lesser Lord Kusanali? That's a cute name! <laughs> oh, you haven't heard. Lesser Lord Kusanali is the deity in whom the people of Sumeru place their faith. It's their chosen term of endearment for her. Her? Okay, so it's, it's another waifu then. 
I'm sure you must have some things to discuss with her too. I wish you all the best. Okay, thank you. I have no more questions. Are you sure? Okay then. Oh, traveler. Do you still have the omamori I gave you? Yep, of course I'll keep it in a safe place. Keep it safe? Is that all you intend to do with it? There was me thinking that you might hang it around your neck to show off to the world. Telling everyone who inquired that it was <laughs> given to you by none other than Yai Miko, the wise and beautiful. <laughs> I really like her personality. Who My God. Right mind would do that? <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Now a question for you. Traveler, what is your ambition? To be reunited with my brother, I guess. I see. But that is merely a small goal, based on what preoccupies you here and now. Your ambition should be something that transcends the world below and the starry sky above. Something that shines in unison with fate itself. Perhaps the reason you do not possess a vision is that such an ambition has yet to be engendered within you. It's a possibility. Hmm. Continue on your journey, and maybe that moment will come to pass. Okay. Man, it's done. Oh, man. Where do you want to go next? <laughs> okay, Zhongli. All right, thank you guys for watching. I mean, this this has been a pretty long video, so I'm not gonna make it any more longer. <laughs> I enjoyed this quest, and I hope you enjoyed my reaction to it. Also, I'm sorry for grumbling so much, and yeah, I still hope you enjoyed my uh, my thoughts and reactions on this Archon quest because it really is super super good. Every journey has its final day. I, I agree. I, I agree, Mr. Zhang Li. Okay, so, again, thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking around. You're awesome. Alright, catch you in the next one. Bye!